In this video, we're gonna st study the flow analysis of a facility, the layout of machine in a factory. Okay, we're using string diagram. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. And in case you have any question, please write to my email address. Okay, so in a factory where the machine lay out in this manner, so in a way, if we go in a factory where all the machines are, we could see the machines lay out are in this R, A, B, C, D, F, and S. And we have five products which are listed here. The product one, it goes like routing for the process steps R, A, B, D, C, F, and S. Product two, R, B, D, C, A, and S. Using the string diagram, it goes like this. If you're doing, saying for example, let's start, I'm gonna put red for the first product, red line for the first product. If the flow lines between adjacent circuits are from middle of circuit to middle of circuit, so in product one we have R, A, B, D, R, A, A, B, B, D, so they're not adjacent, so the flows, the jump department, B, D, it goes backward, so it will be from below, above the circuit and below the circuit, C, F, and F, S, okay, so this is the first product, for the second product, I'm gonna select the color green, and I'm gonna lay out it here, for the second product, we have R, B, it jumps the department because they're not adjacent here w what's meant by this like if you're in a factory and you do product two so you already done the step r and the next step will be b so you have to jump off a so you have to walk like from r to b and b to d and d to c and c to a and a to s okay so this is the second product for the third product we're gonna consider the yellow and i'm gonna place the yellow here the yellow r and e so we're jumping r and e e f directly from e to f f and b we're jumping from f to b p and a with but it has to be below the circles because we're going backward a and c C, D, and D, S. Okay. For the product 4, for the product 4, or oh, let's do the product 5. We can skip the product 4 we c uh, because it's become extremely crowded. For the product 5, we have R, C, C, A, A, D, and D, S. It's the best idea if you do like uh, you do the layout twice. So if you have lots of product, do a maximum two products on a layout, and then you, you do another testing. So once you accomplish this, we're gonna count the efficiency of this layout. So starting from the first product, it is R A. So we did one step, B two step, D so three four steps as if we're walking one two three four C. 5 f 6 7 8 and 9 so here we write 9 okay and for the product two we have rb so 1 2 d 3 4 5 c 6 and 7 to a and 8 9 10 11 12 13 so we have 13. For the product 3, we have R, E, F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, F, 6, P, A, 